Hi, I'm Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist on the Simpsons television show. I've been working on the show for about 19 years now. And today I'm going to answer a Simpsons question uh, that was left on my comments uh, last week. This is from Zartog. Zartok35. He wrote, I don't know why, but in season 15, the crew, the crews were downsized and they were grouped to the directors. They added a bunch of Futurama animators too, and it never really seemed fair to me. Do you remember anything about the show President War Pearl's episode, Mr. Escobar? That would have been one of your last episodes from that time. Well, actually, I hadn't remembered anything about it. Um, I ended up having to watch it last night. Um, and it turns out that I did work on it, uh, obviously, but... Um, but it was definitely one of those shows that I was uh, store, uh, I was I was doing revisions on. Not only that, but um, even though it the the show um, aired on se in season 15, I think it was a holdover show. Uh, a holdover show is basically a show that's actually done the season before and it's held over for the the next season. They well, one of the things that we sometimes do on the show is that uh, we do more shows that can that are able to air and so what ends up happening is those extra shows are held over sometimes we do one sometimes we do two and I'm definitely sh and I'm sure that um, the uh, the episode President War Pearls was one of those shows because I did not work on season 15 uh, I do remember working on some epi on some shots on that on that show I particularly remember uh, doing some of the early shots in the uh, casino, uh, the in the school with uh, Nelson. With Nelson, yeah, President Nelson. No, um, Martin. Uh, you know, talking as they walked around, as they walked in the background. It, it was like a very uh, low angle shot. I remember doing that one, um, and a, a few a few shots there too. Uh, I do remember the Marge uh, scene um, what was her line um, those front rockers or something like that and uh, she said that all powerful and I and I do remember actually doing the scene where Bart throws a brick and it bounces off the window and hits him in the face I do remember doing that scene um, but really I only did I worked on about seven or eight shots in the entire in the entire episode so um, there wasn't a whole lot that I did on that episode uh, having said that uh, when it comes to the Futurama crew and being unfair that they got uh, put in in the position and, and I mean I, I basically had the boot that I, I guess I, I got replaced by a Futurama person that season but um, to be honest um, more power to them uh, if they could do the job uh, then they deserve the job. I mean, that's really what this this is kind of the the situation you're in. Uh, if you can't if you can't hold your own, you, you I mean, uh, fair unfair. I mean, uh, you got to be able to produce. You got to be able to do. You know, it, it doesn't matter what you what college, how many years you put, how what degree you've got. If you can't do the work, you're out. That's basically the way it is. Um, so that's the, the ultimate test is whether you can do the work or not. That being said, uh, the season after that, season 16, I think is when they came back. And um, I worked with those Futurama people. And they happened to become, some of them became some of my best friends. Like, they, I, they, they, they were awesome people. I love them to death. Um, some of them actually went back to Futurama. They're working there now. And uh, have uh, they're now like assistant directors and directors and things like that. So, um, oh man, it, it's like uh, perhaps I'll, I'll talk about it in a different time. Uh, what happened to me and how I came back and talk, and worked in, in a group of people that, that were never here before uh, until that year, and uh, and I met them, and uh, I mean we became good friends. So it's not really fair, unfair. Uh, all the Futurama guys, they're awesome. They're like, this, we trade artists all the time. We have a good relationship with with Rough Draft. Uh, 
this industry is too small. Everybody knows everybody. I mean, that's the way it is. All right, I hope that answers your questions, Artog. Um, okay, until next time. Oh, um, if you have any questions for me, let me know. Give me, uh, send in some questions, leave, the, leave a, a comment. Um, better yet, um, sign in, opt into my email. Uh, do that, you'll get more content, it'll be more fun, you'll, you'll get extra stuff. Um, this week I'm going to be showing some people uh, here some little things that, uh, that uh, oh, mm. okay so uh, if you go into my into my email opt-in uh, you'll actually get to see what I just flashed uh, there's just some screwball drawings and stuff that we do behind the scenes here of some things that made me laugh and uh, we, you know we kind of mess around and you're gonna get to see that in this week's email but if you don't opt in you're not gonna see it okay so uh, let me know uh, uh, if you have any questions and uh, I'll talk to you next week